Well, hey there, this is Pastor Scott from the First Christian Church here in Lathrop, Missouri. And this is your Midweek Minute. Just this past week, I was teaching my daughter long division. She's going into fourth grade, and I wanted to help make sure that she was prepared for fourth grade, and she'd never done it before. And so it was such a struggle for her, watching her struggle through doing long division. But she really started to finally get it. And as a parent, that is such an amazing thing, to see your child growing in their education. It really is. To be so excited that they're not just stuck on what 2 plus 2 is. She's going into fourth grade, and now she's learning long division, and she's starting to get it. It is such an amazing feeling as a parent. But as Christians, we too need to be advancing in our education, in our faith, in our walk with God. In the book of Hebrews, that's one of the main points they want to get across is, hey, do not be content with an elementary faith. Continue to press on. Continue to learn more. Keep moving in your walk with God. And now in Hebrews chapter 6, it tells us what some of the basics of the faith are. In Hebrews chapter 6, verses 1 and 2, it says uh, part of an elementary faith is the foundation of repentance from the acts that lead to death and of faith in God. Here we see the foundation of salvation, that you put your faith in God and you repent of your ways. You turn away, a 180 degree turn, away from the ways of the world and go towards God. That's the basics of salvation. And then he talks about the basics of the church. He says, you know, baptism and the laying on the, of the hands. There we have the basics of the church. Baptism is where we enter into being a member of the body of Christ. is through baptism. And the laying on of hands. We pray for one another. We send each other out into the missionary field. That's what we do when we lay hands on each other. And so then he also says, but the end times is also a basic of the faith. The resurrection of the dead and eternal judgment. As Christians, we know this world is not the end. That if we place our faith in God, if we repent of our ways, we will have eternal life living in the presence of God. But if we reject that faith, if we never accept that faith, there is eternal judgment. That is a real thing as well. And so the writer of Hebrews says, now we all know those basics of the faith. It's great to have the basics of the faith. But I want you to press on even further because the more solid your faith becomes, the harder it will be for the world to entice you to leave your faith behind. And that's what Hebrews is saying. And so I want to encourage you this week, find a way to dig deeper into your faith. Maybe you've never read an entire book of the Bible. Pick a book. Pick Romans. That's a good book. Pick John, the Gospel of John, and read the entire book. Maybe that is what you need to solidify your faith a little bit more. Maybe it's finding other Christians to come and be with. Find them. Let's find ways to get our faith solidified so we are advancing in our faith and we're not just stuck with the basics of 2 plus 2, but we are continuing to advance and move towards God. Again, my name is Pastor Scott Archdeacon. If you want to get a hold of us here at the Lather First Christian Church, our contact information is right below this video in the description section. Feel free to reach out to us if you have a question about the book of Hebrews, if you have a question about the gospel in general, or if you have a question about our congregation. We'd love to sit down and talk with you. I pray this message finds you well.